Welcome back to Brent's Hang, and this is our holiday episode, which means ugly Christmas sweater time. Okay, okay, I'm done. Oh, oh, hold on. Huh? This takes the cake. All right, I'm not gonna make you guys go through that again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys 10 really cool products that are great gift ideas for drummers. Now, maybe you're not a drummer. Maybe your cousin Ronnie's a drummer. Maybe Ronnie's sister isn't a drummer. Now, that really wouldn't matter. That would be your cousin, but she doesn't play drums. Um, now, maybe your neighbor's daughter does play drums, and they're tired of getting cell phones with no headphone jack. I mean, what the crap is that, really? Um, and maybe they're tired of their phone blowing up on them. Yeah, it kind of singes your eyebrows a little bit. Now, anyways, what I've done is I've chosen our 10 most engaged fans, and I'm gonna give each of them one of these products. So gift idea number one is the G-Wax. This is the SCGWAX. And um, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret here. This is stick wax. And this is the only stick wax out on the market. See, it's black and red. No, it isn't. Anyways, so what's really great about this stick wax is that it doesn't take very much to apply it to the stick. Just a couple swipes and you're done. It doesn't leave a whole lot of messy, sticky residue so your hands won't feel like they've been, you know, like you've stuck them in a vat of pancake batter. Plus, it's heat activated. So whatever stick wax is left on the stick is gonna be reactivated by your hand. Oh, this is gonna last me for about two years now because a little goes a long way. So, let's see who's the lucky person to get this. Greg Fawcett. Hey dude, I remember you. And he left a comment on the, on the stick wax video. And this is what he said. How does it change the feel of the stick? Does it still feel like you're holding the same wooden stick or is the wax noticeable? Well, I mean, it's a little, it's a little bit noticeable. It adds a little bit of friction to when you play, but it's not gonna rip your skin off like a lot of other products that I've seen out there. You know, you get those gnarly blisters. That's not fun, then you start bleeding, ugh. So gift idea number two is the beater effects. This is the SCBBE effects. Now what these are, these are sounds that you can use to texturize your playing and they attach right to the shaft of your bass drum beater. We have an egg shaker, a jingle, and we have a finger cymbal. Now what's great is to use these with an acoustic kit. You can use them with a cajon pedal setup or if you have an auxiliary percussion uh, pedal with a jam block or a cowbell, these are great with that too. It adds really nice sound to it. So let's see who gets to uh, texturize himself. We have Braden Funnel. Now, um, he left a comment on the video we did for this. Says, could even put that on top of the hi-hat rod. Hmm. We can't do it, it won't fit. <laughs> so gift idea number three is the SC FMC. This is the Flex Multi Clamp. Now, most traditional multi clamps require three hands when you're putting on an accessory to your kit. One to hold the clamp, one to hold the grabber portion of the clamp, and one to actually put the downstem of the boom arm or a cowbell mount or whatever it is you're putting onto, the, onto your cymbal stand. Then you have to close it. And you gotta pray to God that this doesn't slip out of your hand and crap falls on the ground. Well, the Flex, the flex Clamp has this flex band technology in it and spring-loaded um, screws that allow you to be able to add an accessory to your kit using only one hand. Just press the flex band and the C-clamp opens. Eh? I just blew your mind. Yeah. So anyways, let's see who's gonna get their mind blown on, on uh, the holidays this year. Shade Media. Sounds really shady. Anyway, so they left a comment on um, this video of the, of the flex clamp, and he's quoting something that I said in there. Sometimes it's just about the little things. Ha! If only my girlfriend thought the same thing. Are you sure you're watching our channel? 
Gift idea number four is a deluxe symbol tilter with a brake tilter. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's the SC DCT BT. Now what this thing is good for, it's, good to, it's great to add an additional symbol to your boom arm. So you've got one here and you can plug this bad boy right on the end of it and then tilt it up and you've got a double symbol boom arm. Or if you wanna place it somewhere along, anywhere along the boom arm, you can too. This has 360 degrees of rotation, so you can place it in any direction you want. This is a great little idea if you're going to create a splash tree, just kind of like Gavin Harrison did. You guys have seen it. You know what I'm talking about. So let's see who gets this bad boy. We have Matthew Parsons. Hey, dude, I remember you. And um, he left a comment on this particular video saying, so crazy how one little part can make a difference. Will this work though on a perfectly smooth cymbal arm? Well, that depends. Are you lubing it up with WD-40? Gift idea number five is the Gibraltar Flatter Bag. But this is the snare version, the GFB-14S. We also offer bags to work with sizes 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24. What's really, there are three real unique features to this bag. One is that it has an adjustable depth. All you do is unzip the little depth sleeve and you can expand it another half inch to an inch. This is great because it'll work with a five and a half and a six and a half inch deep snare. The second uh, unique feature, and this is referring to toms and bass drums of course, but you can, it has an adjustable diameter. So it'll work with drums that have rims mounts, for, that need a larger diameter and also drums that don't have rims mounts that need a smaller diameter. And that's because the bag comes together um, right at the side with a Velcro so you can actually adjust how um, tight or loose you need to make it as far as the diameter is concerned. Thirdly, you can break this down to be completely flat. So there's a lot of times when you're, when you're playing live that you don't have places to store bags or your cases. They, they have you like shove them in the corner or underneath a table and drinks get spilled on them and the last thing you want to do is put drums in a wet bag. Well, this will collapse, compl un um, collapse completely into being flat. So then you can just basically put it underneath your drum throne and not have to worry about a wet snare at the end of the show. So let's see who gets it. We have Klein Cordy. <clears throat> I don't think that's his real name. It's probably a screen name. Great features, but would you please mind telling me, telling me that this will work with a 9 by 12 inch tom? All, all there my drums would fit into your bags, but not my 12 inch. Sad face. Hmm. Well, I think what he's doing is, you get, there might be some confusion. Um, the description says it works with an 8 inch, a uh, 12 by 8 slash 12 by 10. Well, all that means is that it'll, it'll work with drums anywhere from a depth of 12 by 8 inch to a 12 by 10 inch. So it will work with a 12 by 9 inch. So gift idea number six is a symbol, long symbol boom arm with an attachment clamp. Attachment clamp right there. It's a SC CLBAC. So uh, what this is designed for is to attach a symbol or an accessory to your kit without having to add another stand to it because we're always getting ourselves into wham buckles with with adding more stuff to our kit because we always see something new. And we're like, oh, that would look really cool and sound really cool on my drum kit. So let me get another stand. Well, now you don't have to because this is a great item to help mount that. You can attach it right to a stand and there's two points of angle adjustment to let you position it exactly where you want it. And it can also be used to mounting microphones. Go watch the video. Let's see who gets it, shall we? We have Christian Canalita. And uh, Christian left a comment on this video saying, Love that you can mount a microphone to a stand. Gosh, this guy gets it. I love it. So gift idea number seven is the quick release hi-hat clutch. This is the SEQRHHC. 
Now, this is the best thing that's ever happened to the drumming community. And I don't care how many ball bearings your bass drum pedal has. We all know that, that adding a clutch to a hi-hat is a pain in the booty. Because once you add the locking nut on the bottom, it gets cross-threaded. It takes you freaking 20 seconds to actually get it on there right. And then you have to, don't, you can't forget to lock that locking screw. Otherwise, your cymbal falls off right in the middle of your anthrax song. And that doesn't work, then your hi-hat gets disengaged. With this, all you do is just pull the bottom locking nut and it comes off. Add your cymbal back on, press the inner sleeve, this button right on the locking nut, and push it right over the stem. Now your hi-hat is locked on there very quickly. And plus, you don't have to worry about it coming off right in the middle of your song because there's no amount of pressure that can remove this locking nut unless you pull this outer sleeve out. So let's see who the luckiest person on this planet is. I want to meet him. We have Mauricio Albertos. And he left a comment on our hi-hat clutch video saying, can I use the drop clutch SCQRHHDC for every hi-hat stand? Is that drop clutch a universal hi-hat clutch? I got a Tama Iron Cobra hi-hat stand. Answer me, please. God, you're mean. It works with seven millimeter hi-hat rods, okay? Got to go for a second. Gift idea number eight is the lightning rod telescoping hi-hat stand, the GLRHHDB. It's a unique stand in that the pull rod is height adjustable. So now you don't have to worry about your crash smashing into the top of your hi-hat pull rod when you play because you can change the height. So if you want to break your hi-hat stand down at the end of your gig, you don't have to pull it apart into two pieces. You can just collapse the entire upper portion down into the base. Now, here's how you change the height. You adjust the height of the actual upper tube, lower it to wherever you need, lock it in place. Then you can adjust the hi-hat pull rod up and down with this wing nut on the side. Right there. Oh, let's collapse it all the way. Lock it in place. Put it in your bag and go home. So. Let's see who's going to get this for gift idea number eight. <clears throat> Steven Fink. And he left a comment on this video that said, Hey, that HH stand is all happy about being folded up. Steven, I think I'm going to send you this stand. So gift idea number nine, this one is a humdinger, is the stealth G drive bass drum pedal. This is the 9811 SGD. Now this is a very powerful feeling pedal, but it's very smooth. So it works with all different styles of music, whether you're playing rock, metal, funk, Latin, or jazz. This will help you get the feel and the sound out of the drum that you need to get your job done. Plus, it's got a very simplistic set of adjustments on it. There's no crazy amount of adjustments like a lot of pedals out there. Um, you can adjust the pedal board height and the beater angle completely independent from one another so you can get the pedal to feel exactly how you want it to. One of the coolest adjustments that it has that I like is the fact that the hoop clamp tightener is at the top of the frame instead of under the pedal board like most pedals have. So now you don't have to get off of your throne and move your drums away to attach your pedal. You can attach, you can attach it from the playing position sitting on your throne and just stick it right on the bass drum. So, let's see who the lucky son of a gun that's going to get this. We have Senor Gamer. I like the way it connects to the kick hoop. Yeah. I do too. So, gift idea number 10 is actually two items in one. It's two items, but I'm going to show you how they work together. This is the SC SFBA. It's a stand firm bass drum anchor strap. Now, what these are designed to do are to prevent your bass drum from running away from you while you're abusing it during the song. So here's how it works. It comes in a set of in a, in a, in a pack of two. So on the bottom of the strap, there's a Velcro patch that attaches to a fine fibered drum rug or carpet. Then the arms of the strap 
wrap right around the spurs of the bass drum and lock the bass drum down to the rug. We also have a stand version of this. This is the SC SF SA and it also comes in a pack of two. This is great for lightweight hi-hat or snare stands that move when you play them and it's also great for cymbal stands and um, use your imagination. Anyways, let's see who's going to be getting this. Okay, so this is from the Ghost of Jupiter. And he left a comment on one of our hardware makeover videos where I made over someone's drum kit and I used a bunch of stands and rack parts together. The one episode that's almost identical to mine and out of all the rack parts I own, you use barely any of them. Well, that just shows you how many options you have when you use Gibraltar. Okay, so we've got a bonus here, and um, it goes to Ryan Medivere, and he's left a number of comments on our channel, and um, this is one that stuck out to me. Is there any way for me to get my own mini Brent? <clears throat> well, Ryan, yeah, I'm going to give you a little B here. You know, quite frankly, I'm, I'm done with him. He's a jerk. He, uh, he starts fights. He's an instigator. He says mean things. Um, he once told me to pull my bottom lip over he my head and swallow, and I don't really appreciate being talked to like that. So yeah, he's your problem now. So um, happy holidays. Well, that's it for this year's Brent's Hang holiday episode. Thank you very much, everyone. I just gave you guys 10 really cool gift ideas for drummers, and they will end up being the gift that keeps on giving for the rest of the year. Happy holidays, and we'll see you next time.